Hello everybody, welcome to Blaze and Bloom. And today we're here to talk about uh, this new greenhouse that we put up. Uh, it's nothing fancy to this greenhouse. Uh, it was We found it on Amazon, I think it cost us about $150. And uh, we, um, we really wanted to shoot the video just to talk about uh, why we did it in the follow-up to our propagation video. All of the things that we've been propagating in our propagation series, such as the Vitexes and just kind of some other things um, that, we, that we propagate, some purple heart plants, all kinds of stuff and lots of things we're just trying to kind of rehab and uh, just kind of, uh, also make sure that it makes it through the winter. So to start, um, you'll find lots of these little uh, pre-made pop-up greenhouses um, and they're pretty, they're, they're not too bad. They get the job done, but you want to make sure that you're, u that you're using them in a protected space. Um, the, uh, the material they're made of, like the framing can be made from plastic, everything like from plastic to metal. Um, I've opted to, we opted to go for one with a, a, a metal frame instead of a smaller plastic one. We just needed more room. Um, and, that, and look how well we filled it up. These are the, these are the Vitexes that we've done back in our uh, video. Um, I'll link it in the comments if you haven't seen it. But we did 20, 28 Vitexes or something like that. And here they sit right now, just growing like crazy. Pot them up in the beginning in the four-inch pots, and now they're up in the two-gallon pots. So we want to keep the growth going, so we've, we've put them in the greenhouse to kind of assist with that, even though they probably don't actually need the greenhouse for the winter, just in case we've stuck them in here. Um, and given that, you know, hopefully the power doesn't go out this year and you know, electricity stays, we have a little heater down there to keep it, keep it heated throughout the winter uh, during the night, because the sun is what heats it during the day. And then uh, uh, right now, it, uh, we got in here this morning and uh, it was a 40 degree day, and it's, it was 70, 75, I think, when we opened it up this morning. So it was nice and warm in here. The plants, the plants don't even know it's December, so it's great for them. Um, let's see what else there was to talk about. I really, th uh, I really am a little bit more pleased with this greenhouse than I than I originally thought uh, I would be, um, given how cheap they are. But as long as they're in a protected space, you'll be you'll be okay. Make sure that you have lots of additional lines. Uh, uh, scrap it down. They actually send a, a very flimsy line and not very good tie down. So we we upgraded those those lines with some, some bigger, thicker line and some some uh, better uh, ground stakes. And then we use these pieces of wood around the outside flap there on the bottom just to keep the weight down. We want to keep a lot of weight on it. Um, but here a lot of if you live in a windy place, um, this probably might not even work for you. This kind of a setup. Um, but if you can put it in an area where you can keep it protected from the wind. Um, it's a good, uh, it's a good, um, good middle ground for how, uh, for a greenhouse because they can get very, very expensive. Uh, anyway, guys, well, that's the greenhouse. Um, so, if you haven't, uh, hope the, hope the video was helpful. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time. Bye.